Hey, how's it going, Bob? This is Jack here with Rocketship SEO. Uh, thank you for your inquiry. Um, I noticed that you want to rank your website dinnerdancecruises.com uh, for the keywords like Dinner Cruises NYC and that kind of thing. So without further ado, let me go ahead and, get, and do this video analysis for you. Um, what I want to do in this video analysis is basically go over exactly where you're at um, in terms of your SEO and what we need to do to make sure that you start ranking um, a lot higher for some of the keywords that we want to go after and um, what we need to do to do that if we were to tackle this project on together. All right, so without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I did was I actually pulled up your website here in a tool called AREFs. AREFs allows search marketers like myself to look at the metrics of a website. So um, I entered your URL here into our um, AREFs tool, and you can see right here right off the bat that there's some information about your website. Um, what I want you to take a look at right here right off the bat is your backlinks and referring domains. Now, uh, in case you didn't know what a backlink and referring domain is, Bob, it's basically any website out there um, on the internet that links back to you, uh, to your website, in this case, dinnerdancecruises.com, uh, by a hyperlink. <clears throat> so, for example, what I mean by that is if there's a blog out there that's called the dinnercruisesblog.com, and they mention you in a new blog post, and they say, hey, if you're looking for the best dinner cruises in NYC, check out these guys, and then there'd be a link back to your website. So just in the fact that that blog is linking back to your website is actually tracked by Google. And this is so important, this metric right here, this backlinks and referring domains, because um, Google uses that as a very uh, important measure in determining how authoritative your website is. And authority, in turn, has a huge uh, impact in how highly you rank for the keywords you want, you want to rank for, as well as how quickly you rank uh, for those keywords once you've established your authority. And so to build the authority on your website, you want a lot of these backlinks. You want a lot of these websites out there on the internet talking about your website because it shows Google that you're the kind of website that other websites like to talk about and you're the kind of website that other websites like to refer their own visitors and their traffic too because they're basically like hey check out these guys and then there's a link to your website right and so Google actually tracks all that and um, the fact that you have 326 backlinks on 59 referring domains is just not going to be enough for you to be able to rank and have the authority that Google deems um, is enough for you to um, outrank your competition that's already currently ranking for the keywords we want to go after right and so um, we want to shoot for at least closer to about two three hundred referring domains on about a thousand to three thousand backlinks um, um, that's when you start competing at the um, uh, the national keyword level because um, that's kind of where we've seen a lot of our um, competitors in, in this space tend to be, and that's where you need to be, if not better, right? So if you know that your competition is um, has X amount of referring domains and backlinks talking about their website, then you know at the very least you need to emulate that spot, if not better, in order for you to rank higher than them, right? And so we need to make sure that we bump up that authority by um, reaching out and making sure that more uh, people are talking about you. So I can see right here, Back in uh, J uh, July, you were you had a lot of uh, referring domains um, on your website, so a lot of websites talking about it. But you can see over the uh, months, it just kind of um, has slowly, actually over the years, because this was back in 2015, you can see how um, the number of referring domains have slowly slipped since then. And um, your organic search um, has a correlation between that and just your rankings. So you can see how, like... Um, in September, actually, you were getting some decent traffic in September, and it looks like you took a big nosedive. I, I have a feeling it might be a penalty, because uh, when, when you fall off this quickly, this fast, I mean, it's in, in a matter of months, you know, that you just dipped from 400 to not ranking for anything. So we're going to have to look at take a look at that and see exactly what's going on that caused you to be penalized. But I do want you to know that you are still ranking for a lot of these keywords, which means that Google hasn't done like a hard suspension on your website. It's just a soft soft uh, um, penalty. And it's very, uh, very feasible and very possible for us to um, pull you out of that and get you back to um, the organic traffic that you were at before. Yeah, because a lot of these keywords were taking a hit. So you, uh, these are the only keywords now that are ranking. So it looks like they're... Um, we need to look at look at this, and I need to do some further analysis on the website or the video analysis. But uh, if that's something that you're interested in, then I can definitely do that. I just don't want this video to be um, uh, incredibly long. But um, a one one factor I can see is just that your referring domains just continues to fall off, and that just goes to show Google that this website isn't as live anymore or as relevant. And so then you're just going to start losing your authority. And then, as a result, you know, start losing traffic because you're not ranking for all the different keywords you want to rank for. All right. So um, a, a lot of things that we can look into. Um, I might go over that here later in the video, but let me go over to this tab real quick and and kind of um, explain what I can see right here. So um, uh, you gave us some keywords that you'd like to rank. So Dinner Cruise NYC, 
San Diego, and a couple of these other ones. Uh, what we can do is we can actually um, look at the metrics of that keyword and see how often people search for that kind of keyword. So you can see right here, Dinner Cruise NYC actually gets the most searches per month at 2,700 searches per month. It's definitely something that we want to go after. Um, the one thing is I do want to mention this column right here um, under this KD. KD stands for keyword difficulty. It's a measure that AREFs, the tool, came up with to determine how hard it might be to rank for the keyword. Now, there are some outliers, but this is a generally a good rule of thumb. So it's on a scale of 0 to 100, 100 being hardest. With a keyword difficulty of 15, it's very possible for us to rank, but it's not something that we're going to be able to rank you for uh, immediately. So it's going to be um, a process. It's going to take us um, a few months for us to be able to start showing you up for this keyword and then uh, get you on the first page. Uh, Cruise, Dinner Cruise San Diego gets about a third of the traffic, right? A thousand searches per month, but it's a lot less keyword difficulty. So this is very possible for us to rank you very quickly for this kind of thing, as well as um, this keyword difficulty, this uh, Dinner Cruise San Francisco, as well as Din Dinner Cruise Los Angeles. So these are definitely kind of the keywords that we want to go after because very, very low competition, and we can quickly rank you for this and still get you traffic to your website because you're starting to collect uh, these kinds of keywords. Now, um, I've only entered the keywords that you've given us in this metric, but if I if I do something like this and I type in something like dinner cruise, try that dinner cruise NYC, or Denver, whoops. The tool actually helps group uh, certain keywords together and, and helps us come up with other keywords that we could potentially go after. So let's see, um, while that's kind of pulling up, what else I can find. So uh, with your website, uh, I think the website is very clean and, and very um, uh, nicely laid out for especially people, um, let's take a look and see if this is mobile or responsive. Yeah, that doesn't look bad, it just uh, scrolls down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's mobile responsive. Um, it's got all the uh, images on there about us. So I have a feeling, so basically it's kind of like an affiliate website, right? So you, when they click to see details, um, you can refer them over to that um, travel group and then uh, sign up for that there, right? Or is it, oh, no, 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 you guys actually like offer the tickets and everything and they can order it on the on the website. So yeah, um, that's pretty cool. Let's see, product New York City dinner cruise. Okay, so fantastic job actually having the keyword in the URL. You're going to get a, uh, some credit for that there. Um, we might want to look into having a little bit more content on these pages because um, content is king these days and Google looks for a lot of uh, content. Uh, to also tie in with authority, right? So uh, along with other websites, talk, linking back, backlinking back to your website, um, the content actually affects your authority as well because Google has recognized that the more authoritative websites that rank higher tend to have a lot of content because they're authorities in the space and they just know what they're talking about and they have a lot of good content that people like to read. So we want to make sure that you have uh, um, some more content than we're at right now. Um, so yeah, Dinner Cruise NYC, so NYC Dinner Cruise, so if you just flip the, um, some of the keywords around, that actually gets another 1,400 searches per month. So believe it or not, um, even just in the way that you phrase the keywords, um, you get uh, different kind of um, searches per month. So if we're going after Dinner Cruise NYC, we definitely want to make sure that we capture NYC Dinner Cruise as well. So Cruise Dinner NYC as well, Dinner Boat Cruise NYC, Dinner Cruise NYC, Groupon 250, I don't know if you guys do Groupon. But if you do, then that could be something that you can highlight on your website. So how we go about kind of ranking you uh, for some of these keywords, uh, Bob, is basically we go in and kind of look at some of the keywords that you currently rank for on your website and see if we can hash those pages better. And then if we can't find anything like that, we'll actually just build out an individ individual page that um, has um, like that we hash out the content, maybe like 12, 1500 words of content layer in some of these keywords that we want to go after and start pushing like backlinks and things like that to that page so that you can start getting credit for that um, page and then start ranking for these keywords that we want to go after. Um, it's a matter of just kind of doing a little bit more research into your website. I think that's kind of why I wanted to reach out to you to kind of get a better feel for exactly what your website um, um, is about, um, what, what kind of keywords that you want to go after, what your time frame is, if you've worked with an SEO company in the past, uh, um, how that's affected you, and, and that kind of thing so I can get some better information and, and kind of get a better, uh, better um, strategic SEO plan of attack for us to tackle this project them together. So uh, I'll wrap it up here. Um, a lot of different options for us to do. Um, if you're interested in something like this, we can absolutely talk further. Um, I'll leave my uh, phone number as well as my uh, cell phone and office number on there. 
uh, in case you have any questions and you'd like to talk over the phone. Otherwise, we can chat via email as well in the email that I send out to you. But I'll wrap it up here. Um, a lot of different things that we can do with this. Um, very, very possible for us to rank you for this kind of thing. We rank for our clients for things that are a lot harder than this. So um, you know that if we can do that, we can absolutely rank you for this as well. Now, just to let you know, we are a full service marketing company. So we don't just do SEO. We don't just do like um, organic search and Bing search, Google search, Yahoo search, that kind of thing. We also do paid advertising. So like um, uh, we do like Facebook ads. We do um, um, uh, funnels. We do uh, email marketing blasts. We do uh, um, <clears throat> Google AdWords, uh, Bing, Bing AdWords and Bing Places and things like that. So lots of options for us to be able to take care of you. It's just a matter of kind of what you're looking to do, uh, what your time frame is, what your marketing budget is, that kind of thing. And then we can just hash out that plan of attack and get going on this immediately. All right, so Bob, I appreciate it if you watched this video all the way through. Hope it wasn't too long for you. Didn't want to take too much of your time. But at the very least, I hope you got some insight out of this and would love to talk further with you about this. All right, so thanks, appreciate it, and talk to you soon. Thank you.